In less than a second, the computer makes a half a million comparisons and shows that the pattern of his eye matches an iris code in the database. They find a match. He cannot come to UAE anymore. His ban is forever. The man is on the blacklist because he tried once before to enter the country without a visa. This time, his own body has betrayed him. He'll be returned on the next flight to Iran. The system has already caught more than 25,000 people trying to enter the country illegally. As effective as iris recognition is, its inventor knows there's a scary side to using the body to ID people. There is an Orwellian component of biometrics because it means machines can very reliably and automatically identify you, track your identity, and monitor your movements, perhaps, based on your identity. And, of course, different countries have different cultural assumptions about the degree of intrusion or privacy that individuals have a right to. Iris scans ideas by peering into our bodies. But there's a new surveillance technology that can actually see through us in a virtual strip search. It's called backscatter. In this view, a woman appears almost naked, except for a plastic gun and explosive device hidden on her body. When this technology was briefly deployed at the Orlando, Florida airport, it raised privacy concerns and stirred an outcry in the press. Backscatter manufacturers are working on a way to cloak the human body. Until then, the government has put the technology on hold. But Backscatter can already do more than screen people. This unmarked van is screening an entire parking lot. Backscatter gives it the power to peer inside parked cars. The technology sees through metal and shows organic compounds like this plastic explosive. After the London bombings, investigators cordoned off the area where the bombers had parked their car. They made a huge discovery when they opened the trunk. Strangely enough, in that car were found more explosives, so we don't really know who else was going to go into that car and take from that package as well. Sixteen homemade bombs were hidden in the rental car. The breakthrough came too late to prevent the attack. But if Backscatter had scanned the car as it entered the parking lot, the worst terrorist attack in British history might have been avoided. Deployed on borders around the world, Backscatter is a powerful weapon against smugglers. It can reveal things in an instant that would take a border guard hours to find. Viewed with a regular x-ray, this truckload of fruit in Hong Kong doesn't seem to contain anything suspicious. But Backscatter shows heroin. These bright white blocks hidden in the fruit. While it works in ways similar to x-rays, Backscatter shows things that regular x-rays miss. On the Guatemalan border, a truck of bananas isn't what it seems. Illegal migrants are clearly visible huddled beneath the fruit. Backscatter works by shooting high-energy light beams at an object. These high-energy beams penetrate dense objects like metal, but bounce and scatter back when they hit low-density materials like bananas or people. How the light particles scatter back reveals the shape of the object they hit. Even though new technologies can be invasive, they are tightening security where it's needed most. But the next challenge is to survey an entire city. Millions of people, 
thousands of places. Even at night. With technology so powerful, they could end up seeing what they're not supposed to. August 27th, 2004. A protest is underway against the Republican National Convention. Thousands of people mill in the streets. High above, music producer Jeff Rossner is in his 16th floor penthouse. With nothing but night sky above him, Rossner has a wraparound terrace and panoramic views of the city. Tonight, he's entertaining a date. It was Saturday night. My friend came over and we had a couple of glasses of wine and we had music going and you know we were just kind of spending time with each other and enjoying the night. After a few minutes, Rosner and his friend head outside onto the terrace. On this, as on all other nights, Rosner assumed he was alone outside. The terrace that I have is completely private. There's 16 floors up, there's no buildings around. I mean, if I'm up here and it's dark, you can't see me. But tonight, Rosner and his friend are not alone. And they're about to come face to face with the future. Ten miles away, a unique machine is gearing up for a night of surveillance. From this secure location, the New York Police Department Aviation Unit can turn night into day. The challenge is to see through the darkness and detect anything unusual happening in New York City. Okay, you're good. This $10 million unmarked Bell 412 EP helicopter comes equipped with the latest infrared technology. Its camera allows them to patrol Manhattan from thousands of feet in the night sky without being seen. The team flies more than 9,000 surveillance missions a year. Led by Deputy Inspector Gallucci, they keep an eye out for crime, terrorist activity, or any sort of trouble. We do quite a bit of surveillance around the clock. We look for anything that would appear to us to be out of the ordinary and unusual circumstances uh, at sensitive locations. Cruising at more than 130 knots, it will take only minutes to cover the 10 miles into the city. The surveillance team moves across Brooklyn, tracking their progress on real-time maps. Then, as they approach New York Harbor, they switch on the infrared camera and bring alive an invisible world. Everything that uses energy, a car, a person,